and I'm a, a co-owner with my father Patrick of Kamoka Pearls. It's a, a small pearl farming operation here in French Polynesia. I was a cabinet maker in Papete for 10 years and I sold all my machinery and uh, bought everything needed to start a farm and I started a pearl farm. 1990. The, the process starts with, with the, the oyster that needs to be collected and so to do that uh, farmers will set out what we call collectors at a certain time of year and then the, the baby oysters uh, actually swim into the into the collectors fix themselves and then grow up and then once they're, they're at a certain age maybe a year year and a half they get removed from the collectors uh, drilled and then uh, and then put on a um, on some sort of raising substrate like what we're doing today we're those were units of, of 100 oysters um, on cords and so that that enables us to uh, quantify them in terms of size and and quantity obviously um, so that that's the first step and then w once it's finally uh, mature enough to seed which is about two and a half three years you uh, you implant it with a, a uh, a nucleus, uh, a nucleus, which is basically like a, a small marble made of shell, and then you also need a piece of mantle tissue to go in the, in the, uh, the oyster with it. And so, by implanting the mantle tissue inside the body of the host oyster along with the nucleus, the mantle tissue will grow over the nucleus and form a pearl in about a year, year and a half's time. The price of pearl was uh, equivalent to the price of gold in 1998-2000. The price of pearl was really high. And then the, the idiot in the government gave a lot of, uh, of uh, permit to everybody that has any money to start pearl farming. And then we start overproducing and then uh, that just screwed up the market. It could have been tomatoes or carrots or whatever, it's the same principle. You know? uh, we really focus on making pearls in uh, the most sustainable way possible. I, I hesitate to use the word sustainable because it's so used and abused these days, but um, it's been our focus for 25 years now. And for me, the, the, the biggest thing that we do is we, we have the, the fish, the, the natural fish populations here in the lagoon, clean our oysters. Um, and that's different than the, the industrial farms that will, that will do it with um, power hoses. And the, the problem with the power hoses is, is that it, uh, it throws all the fouling back into the water, and then there can be big explosions of different kinds of, uh, of critters like anemones and different um, sponges that sort of take over uh, uh, lagoon ecosystems. So basically, there's a, a fish species that corresponds to every kind of fouling. And so what that means is that all of the different species get stronger, basically. Like, there's, there's more fish in our area than than, uh, than there was before we got here. Um, so I think any time that you can do something that's actually regenerative, that's, uh, that's a very exciting thing. You know, we're doing all that we can right now to develop our sales channels. We have a, uh, a website, uh, kamokapearl.com, K-A-M-O-K-A, pearl.com. Sorry for the, the, the gratuitous plug, but you know, like I said, we're scrapping. <laughs> and uh, our Instagram, Kamoka Pearl. Uh, at Kamoka Pearl. Um, yeah, we're, we're working really hard to get the word out about, about how we're doing things and uh, we hope that, that people will, will want to support us because we hope that people will, uh, will ultimately value where their pearls come from. You know, not all pearls are made the way that we make them. In fact, very few are actually. And a lot of the uh, pearling operations actually do, do quite a bit of damage to, to the environment. And, um, and we don't and we actually help to bring it up. And, like I said, that's something we're we're proud of, and we hope will will resonate with people um, as we as we're able to get the message out. Yeah, you know, we live with the sun. You know, I see the sunrise, uh, the sunrise and the sunset. You know. I live with the stars, you know, with the fish, with the, with the dogs. You know. Live with Mother Nature. You know. Somehow you feel connected. <laughs>